All right, so we're finally starting to get some October-like weather. A little bit of wind. Don't know if you can see it. The clouds are moving a little fast. Anyway, what I really wanted to talk about was that stick over there. It's my walking stick. And uh, I've been working on beading for, uh, since July. Done about 15 projects. Working on trying to find the right set of beads for what I wanted to do. And I finally settled on that. And this is my first project with all those beads is this end cap right here. I guess I could go this way with it. There you can see it's a repeating pattern all the way around. And then it's got this end here. It's like that. So that stitch right there is called uh, flat circular peyote. Uh, sometimes I'll put three beads in the middle. I didn't really, I don't really like how that turns out. The other problem is, is uh, it moves in multiples of six on each ring, and it forms a hexagram pattern or a hex hexagonal pattern. If you can see, uh, maybe this real sharp contrast, it's, it's it's a little difficult to see, but that's what it produces. And then. Um, you simply change from that to a tubular peyote. Now the beads that I really like have turned out to be the uh, Miyuki beads, which is a Japanese bead. Uh, it's 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 real good quality. Um, the size is very regular. Uh, the problem that I had with this is uh, it it's a uh, 33 beads around. So, really, when we talk about a hexagonal pattern, it's almost, you would almost talk about two beads. Because you can see they, they move up and down, side by side. So really it was 66. But, uh, yeah, that's what I produced. It's, it's, a, it's difficult with 66, because that's two. So that's your up and down, that's two then uh, it's 11 times 3, you know, 33 times 2. So really the only patterns, bead lengths that you can have that you can repeat your pattern over and over are 11 and 3 and if you, it, it's kind of hard to count but see like these white guys right here, there's 11 of them you know and, and uh, these little arrows, if you were to count all these little lighter colored, they're not quite white, they're a beige little guys right there there's 11 of those and uh, if you look the the pattern on this brown it's really the obvious to see one two three four five six <coughs> and you can repeat that 11 times to get this effect um, this is pretty much the first serious piece I've ever done uh, with with all these colors and everything I really really like how this turned out uh, and it was interesting after I got done finished with it about two thirds of the way through the project I started seeing it started making sense to me these, this group of four here um, there's some symbology there so like the, all the best projects the symbology you, you know the, the really the best folks, they start with the symbology and then they cook that in. You know, if, if you're lucky, you do a piece and something starts to com communicate to you afterwards for the rest of us. <laughs> and uh, it really did. So I'm super happy with this project. Uh, it looks great up up to here. You know the the colors the the lines start to fade out and then you just see kind of the colors and as you get into the distance it really starts to blur over and just kind of disappear into the tree there right it's hard to see and uh, that's the way I want it if you're this far away you're not going to get anything out of it it's really 
uh, artwork that's supposed to be enjoyed at a fairly close range from uh, you know from about in this area would be about six feet away is where you'd start to say hmm that's interesting and then when you get up close that's where it's really the most fun oh my god it's Oregon and there's something bright in the sky what is it <laughs> really turned out nice.